is Wes. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about four myths or misunderstandings about the Canon EOS R that should not prevent you from investing in this camera in 2022. Let's get started. Before that, you're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, my name is Wes. I'm a freelance photographer. I've used the Canon EOS R as my main workhorse uh, previously to investing in the Canon R5, which I'm filming on right now. Here are four things that you might hear about the Canon EOS R that are not good reasons to keep from investing in it. Number one. EF lenses, do they work or not? Do I have to reinvest all my money into RF glass? The truth is, little adapter, the EF to RF adapter from Canon, and there's other uh, aftermarket um, brands making them now, works just fine. Use your EF glass and get into the R system, add RF lenses when you can down the road, and invest in them selectively. Use your EF glass. It's some of the best glass out there. It's why you love Canon, all right? That's one misunderstanding. Use your EF glass, just jump into the R. Second, dual card slots. I was just talking to a professional wedding photographer on the East Coast and I asked him, hey, dual card slots, how do you, as a wedding photographer, use those? He said, for additional storage. He doesn't use them to back up his photos as he shoots. Now, this is just one example and it's anecdotal. But if you need extra storage, just buy bigger cards, have extra cards. It takes less than 30 seconds to switch to a new card. So not everyone is using dual card slots to back up to have a redundant copy in case a card goes bad and you lose all your photos for a wedding client. That's kind of a myth that people bought into. Dual card slots means it's a professional camera. So don't let that stop you from investing in the Canon EOS R. Also, 4K crop. This was notorious. Now, maybe not a good decision on Canon's uh, uh, part, but this was notorious. What was said about the ESR is it's crop and 4K means it's unusable. That's not true. Use a wider lens, move your camera back from the subject, shoot in 4K anyway. The 4K image is stunning. It's beautiful. It's great video quality. Just adapt. That's what we do. Most of uh, my friends who are uh, photographers or filmmakers, you talk about a shoot, it's how did you cope with what went wrong? It's never perfect, just adapt. The 4K crop, you can work around it. The last thing is speed. It's not as fast as the Canon R5 or R6. That's true and I would recommend the R5. There's a video up here for sports photography where I wouldn't recommend the Canon EOS R video up here for sports photography. But when you think 12 frames per second, that's equivalent to what the 1DX was shooting, the top of the line flagship DSLR from Canon 10 years ago, and that's what NFL pros use. And I know NFL pros use this, the photographers that shoot for the NFL use the Canon EOS R. And so don't let that myth stop you. Yes, it's not as fast as some other cameras, but it's a complete myth that you can't use it uh, for fast moving subjects. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Just some four things I had to get off my chest. I know a lot of you have come to the channel for Canon EOS R content. Don't let these four myths stop you from investing in one of the best entry level full frame camera, mirrorless cameras out there. Video up here. If you like this content, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.